Let's take you to Delta State, where more than two weeks after the killing of 17 Nigerian Army personnel, the people of Okwama community who are still in hiding have appealed to the state and federal government to come to their aid with health care and other facilities. 14th of March incident, the people of Okwama have been on the run and most of them hiding, perhaps, in the forests around their areas. A spokesman of the people who was interviewed by a local media house says the fleeing children, women and men of Okwama community who are still hiding in bushes have no water, food, shelter and medical care. According to him, they have lost some persons to sickness and snake bites and appealed for assistance. So the people are dying. So no medical attention to these people. We are calling on federal government to come to our rescue, to rescue our people from the bush. They appealed further that they have no issue with the military, begging that they should be allowed back to their community to enable them continue their lives. Meanwhile, some days ago, natives of Orere community, which is 18 kilometers away from Okwama community, have raised alarm over alleged invasion of their community by the Nigerian army in search of weapons and escaping refugees from Okwama community. This community Orere is not even by it, 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 the river bank. So the, the, there is nothing connecting us to Okwama. Even if they are investigating what transpired in Okwama, the way and manner the Nigerian army is, is going about it, I think is, is not right to inform our, our president because I, I, I heard him on, on news giving an order that the army should go on a full-scale investigation. I stand up, I tell them, say, these people, they are, we are innocent, we know the fight for the community. Today, like today now, they want to bring uh, our sister that, that passed away to the community. As the military intensifies search for the perpetrators of the killing, the Okwama people and indeed neighboring communities will want to return to their normal lives and perhaps help in apprehending the real killers.